हरे कृष्णा प्रूविंग दैट वी आर राइट इज नॉट एज एम्पावरिंग एज प्रोबिंग इफ वी आर रॉन्ग वेन एवर वी हैव अ पर्टिक्युलर व्यू ऑफ थिंग्स एंड समबडी एल्स ऑफर्स अ कॉन्ट्ररी व्यू देन एट दैट टाइम आवर टेंडेंसी इज टू ट्राई टू डिफेंड आवर सेल्स टू ट्राई टू प्रूव दैट वी आर राइट and we we seem to get a kick a sense of power if we can defeat the other person and prove that we are right so sometimes proving ourselves right can seem as as a strength as a sign of power but it's not necessarily so actually if we are wrong then exploring why we are wrong that can expand our understanding of things we can learn about some facet of reality we can improve the mental structure that we use for interpreting and understanding the world and that improvement in our own uh, conceptual frame framework uh, may help us much more in the long run than what we might be helped by proving what we are right so in the short run somehow proving ourselves right might help us to win the argument but probing if we are wrong and correcting ourselves if we are and even if we are not wrong just the habit of probing ourselves will actually deepen our own capacity for self examination and self correction whenever required and that will stand us in very good stead in our life so ultimately we don't just want to win the battle of one argument we want to win the war of leading a life that is um, that is most aligned with reality so if our understanding is misaligned with reality then proving our understanding right will keep us misaligned with reality and probing if our, our understanding is wrong will actually align us better with reality so therefore in the long run it's more empowering to probe if we are right and of course we may we may we probe if we are wrong and we may not be wrong also then we can explain how we are right then we will also be able to establish the right understanding in others but arjun at the end of the at the start of the bhagavad gita is trying to prove how his decision to fight is not right his decision to not fight is right but through all that he just ends up with confusion and he says that uh, first he says i am not going to fight and he puts aside his bow that's first chapter last verse visrujya sasharam chapam shok samvigna manasah and but then that decision is kept in confused it's not empowering he uses various arguments to prove that my decision is right i'm not going to fight but then he says in 2.6 na chaitad vidmah kataran no gariyo i don't know what i should do so he still says confused and then after that he moves on to what then he surrenders he says that i don't know and he asks krishna he he use ask questions to krishna by which he can probe whether he is right or wrong karpanya dosho pahata swabhav pruchami tvam dharma sammudh chetah ye shreyasya nishchitam bruhi tanme shishyaste ham shaadi mam tvam prapannam and thus when he probes his own self conception then he gets the wisdom of the bhagavad gita which broadens and deepens his framework for understanding the world and by the end of the gita from confusion has arisen determination because of the illumination of the gita and arjun has raised his bow in readiness to fight similarly when we to probe our self conceptions and with the guidance of the gita become illuminated we too can become empowered thank you hare krishna